today on Divorce Court. I'm here today to show Lakin that I'm committed to this relationship and I'll do anything to repair it. I need to make sure that he's willing to put in effort for a future together. I'm not sure that I'm fully confident that CJ will stay clean and sober this time because he can't keep himself away from people and places where he's relapsed before. I always have to worry. I have to hide all my valuables, my credit card. I can't go to sleep before him because who knows what's gonna happen or if he'll even be there in the morning. I'm working really hard to stay sober and I will do anything it takes to show her that I can be the man that she wants and deserves. If CJ doesn't change, then I'm just gonna have to leave him. He's gonna leave me no choice. I can't be his mother, his friend, and his supporter for the rest of my life. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Lakin Krein and C.J. Ryan. The two of you have been together for three and a half years. You are not married. You are here, however, you want to get married. Yes? He wants to get married. <laughs> but you don't want to. Or at least you're not sure. So you came here for my advice. <laughs> Ms. Krein, I'm going to start with you. What's going on with Mr. Ryan? Well, I actually met C.J. back in high school, but we didn't really know each other that well. So, a few years ago, though, my mom had drugged me out to a bar. <laughs> it was Your so... mom drug you out to a bar? <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> CJ came up, offered me a drink, and we just got to talking, laughing. I actually invited him to my house. We got to a subject about hairy men. He's got a lot of body hair. <laughs> uh, my mom and I actually shaved him. <laughs> 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 you were your uh, mother. Yes. I mean, <laughs> yes. interesting relationship. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah. Um, we actually posted it online and had, like, everybody liked it. And, like, oh, look at that beautiful couple there. There's a start of something great. And so we decided to make it official. We started dating. My mother suggested that he move in to be closer to work from where he had lived before. Your mother is trippy. <laughs> <laughs> My mother, yes, yes. <laughs> But he moved in, and things were great for a while. Mr. Ryan, how long did you know her before you let her and her mother shave you? <laughs> well, like she said, met her at the bar. Sure enough, she shaved my back that night. We met <laughs> nice. that night. We've been together ever since. I call it love at first shave. <laughs> <laughs> When did it start to go wrong and what happened? <sighs> um, a few months in, he, the job he was working at, um, he got fired from on an accusation of stealing some money from work. But I uh, knew the uh, people that worked there. I'm gonna let you respond. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, them people that worked there, though, a lot of them were real shady. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, it, you know what, maybe it wasn't him. Maybe they're just picking on him because right. of his past or whatever. And, you know, we let it go. Well, a few months later, he had stolen from me. So, uh, and uh, it was actually all drug related. Did you know he had a drug problem? No, not at the time. I knew that he did cocaine every once in a while. Um, and then once he had stolen from me, we definitely got real big fight. So I was like, you gotta either do quit or something. I can't be with someone like this. He said, well, I love you and I'm done. Dropped it, like that. No big deal. Well, a few months later, picked up a meth habit. Oh. So, went through the same thing. Uh, money come up missing, my debit card come up missing. Quit doing that. Well, it progressed even yet again into uh, heroin use. Oh. So, I actually ended up leaving him for uh, about three months until mm -hmm. he went to a detox center and got mm -hmm. on a waiting list for a rehab. Mm -hmm. Mr. Ryan, what would you like to say? Did she get that wrong? It's not uh, quite you know, what happened or... She's pretty spot on. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, I can't really argue with nothing. I mean, the drug habit has been a issue that I've been dealing with for mm -hmm. years. I mean, like, 14, 15 years old, started hanging out with the wrong crowd. Right. That's when I started doing cocaine. Okay. And that progressed a little, and by the time I was 18, I did a five-year sentence for residential burglary. And shortly after I got out of prison is when I started dating her. Now, you seem to have the capacity to quit, which a lot I, of people don't... And I have. ...don't it's, have the capacity to do. What triggers you to go back to using once you've quit? A lot of it's got to do with the people that I hang with. 
Got to change your environment. Well, yeah, I changed my environment. And I, I do good. I, I stay clean for months on end. And then I go on, like, what I call benders or benches. When's the last time you went on a bender? Four or five months. Four or five yeah. months. So you went on, like, a weekend thing? Yeah. Longer than day, that? A one day thing. Yeah, a one day is, thing? Uh, one he day. had lost a job mm -hmm. um, due to failing a drug test, so no longer could work there. His last paycheck had ended up getting blown on drugs all in one day while I was at work. Wow. Instead of helping to pay any bills or anything. Okay. So, where are you now with how you feel? I mean, are you feeling pretty level? Will a bad experience set you off or you really don't know? I feel, I mean, I feel pretty level. Mm -hmm. uh, but once I lost my job, it's been more stressful. I mean, for her, you know, down to one income. Right. Because the financial weight has been put completely, completely on, on her. her. Are you having trouble getting another job? I, I haven't. I mean, yeah, we've been, uh, we live in a little town. Uh-huh. Yeah, I've got a extensive background. I got, right. you know, a couple residential burglaries. Very, very hard to get a job. You get that felony tail on you. That's, yeah, that's the kiss of death on an employment thing. So let's talk about, Ms. Krein, what you're doing that may not be so good to help you cope with what he's doing. He did detox and he got put on a waiting list for rehab. Mm -hmm. Called once a week and then just quit call and said, I'm fine, I can do it. Shortly after I had found that he had pawned off my grandpa's wedding band, which I had given to him as a promise ring. Did you do that, Mr. Ryan? Ms. Krein, I understand that you may have picked up a habit yourself while you were coping with all the stress of his habit. What, tell me what's been going on. Well, um, it was actually last summer that was more uh, when I picked up my bad coping skill, mm -hmm. which was drinking. But when that happened was actually shortly after I had found that he had pawned off my grandpa's wedding band, which I had given to him as a promise ring. Okay. Did you do that, Mr. Ryan? Mm, I did do that. I did do that. Let's start here. Okay. What happened when you exchanged the promise ring? What was going well, on I'd during see, that I'd circumstance? I had given her. I had given her a promise ring. Uh, it was probably about a year and a half into our relationship, roughly, mm -hmm. and she was she was actually going through medical issues herself, mm -hmm. and I wanted to give her something to show her that I am committed to her and want this relationship future, and whether she's sick, healthy, healthy rich, whatever. poor, whatever. And I, I just wanted her to know I was there for her always and forever. And I, that's, and then later on she gave me her grandfather's ring as right. a promise ring to me. Mm -hmm. And when we were going through a lot of stuff and I was going on another bender mm -hmm. and she found out and she actually wouldn't, wasn't talking to me, but I still had the ring. That's, that's when I pawned it off. I did pawn mm -hmm. it, I pawned it off and I no. tried to, that was I, when I was at work, because I remember messaging you, and you told me, oh, it fell off while I was walking on the canal. Oh, yeah. yeah well, I know I tried, I tried to play it off like I lost, lost it. it. Right, yeah. I tried but, to play it off but, like I but, lost but it. But you can't take, I mean, it was a personal item, but you can't take it personally, because addicts do that. It's that, it's so personal and to me, like my grandpa had passed away when I was younger and it has his and my grandma's initials and anniversary mm -hmm. engraved in it. It's yeah. not like just some random. Yeah, I get that. But what it's, I'm telling it's... you is addicts do that. It, it wasn't, that's what they do. If you have, if you're dealing with somebody with an addiction, don't give them anything like that because he's an addict and that's what they do. They have no bar below which they won't go if their craving is calling. Right, and you at the me? time, yeah, and at the time I had given it to him, it was one of his long-term sober periods. What do you mean I by long-term? Six months minimum. See, six months in long-term. Well, in our relationship so far, it no, has been. No, but I'm was, telling yes. you, long-term is, is not relative in, in addiction life. You know what I mean? Six mm -hmm. months is not long-term. That's a respite. But it's not, and just, just, just a little, little word to the wise there. Yeah. Did you forgive him after the ring thing? What happened? Um, after that is when I had left him. I was, I was done. That's, that was too much. It was just a line that had been crossed too many times that I just couldn't do it anymore. So I left until he did once again, the bare minimum. 
he did detox and he got put on a waiting list for rehab. Mm -hmm. Called once a week and then just quit call and said, I'm fine, I can do it, but that didn't. He said he was fine? He said, yeah, like I can do it without going away to, to a rehab. rehab. Mm -hmm. And what happened? Well, let me ask you what happened. You said you were fine, you could do without I, rehab, what happened? Oh, I mean, I was fine until I wasn't fine. Right. I went in, and well, how I, long were you fine? Uh, that's something she, she would probably know with the dates. I'm not. How long was he fine? Six, seven months. Six or seven months. Then yeah. Back Without any it. major incidents. Yeah. Well, now I understand that in the midst of all of this chaos, the two of you bought a house. The house was a major fixer up because you got oh. it for five thousand dollars. Oh yeah, I and I, you bought it for five thousand dollars. She's but making I've that very clear. But work in the house, though. But I want to talk about <laughs> this house, why you bought it, what's going on, and how it's causing trouble in your relationship. You keep proposing, and she keeps saying no. What's going on? Well, with that? yeah, I probably a couple times, twice. I probably proposed to her, and she. I mean, look at her. She's awesome. She's right. beautiful. She's too good to me sometimes. All I want from her is a little bit of faith some trust again and some time. Would you stay with a partner who is addicted to drugs? Tell us what you think at facebook.com slash divorce court. Divorce court will be right back. Mr. Ryan, you say she nags you all the time about not doing anything in this house. I, What's going on? I, I don't know if she sees what she wants to see sometimes, but she was off doing weekends in the county jail. Yeah, she, yeah, she, she goes to jail too. Well, no, I can't say that. She's awesome. She, yeah, but she she's went to awesome. jail that one time. But anyway, <laughs> while she's in jail, it's, it's me and her family. We're tearing up all these walls. We're gutting this out completely. I ran all brand new electrical throughout the whole house. You failed to mention I, that. Hang on, let him finish. Let I, him finish. I'll come to you. <laughs> brand new electrical throughout that whole house because nobody else could understand it. I could barely understand it. Mm -hmm. But everybody was putting it on me. I don't even want to be putting in outlets by myself. There's nobody there to call 911. Yeah, if I get yeah, electrocuted, right, who's going to yeah. call 911? You going to let him DIY the electrical? He actually did a really good job I did um, do a good doing job. it. Mm. And I did. <laughs> he wasn't going to get electrocuted because he didn't have it run to the breakers. It was just putting no. the outlet into no, the hole she so wanted we can to make get sure drywall put up. Yeah. What do you think he's not doing with respect to the house that bothers you? It took you? him three months to finish putting in them outlets. And when he failed to mention when I was doing my weekends in county jail <laughs> and he was helping tear up the house, I actually found drug paraphernalia underneath my bed. That's when the wasn't fine anymore came into play. I was, yeah. So he might make it sound like he's doing all this work <laughs> while I'm taking care of what I have to to get myself back to where I need to be. But really, he is also still sneaking around doing all the same old stuff. Do it yourself and an addict putting in the electrical. I can't get past that. I mean, you know what I mean? The, 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 the whole house could light up. This is just, it's just, just. He th that's up a, and down, I know what I'm doing, and I, I just trust me, just well, have faith in me, I can do this, yeah, I wanna help. Yeah, but she also knew I was YouTubing and Googling the whole damn thing. Right, right, right. <laughs> but you put it in and it's working it's out. It's working fine. House hasn't caught on fire or nothing. No, no, we're not we're all good. <laughs> so what I've gotta ask is, when I started this out, I, I thought she was the one that wanted to get married. She says it's you. You keep proposing and she keeps saying no. What's going on? Well, with that? yeah, I probably a couple times, twice, I probably proposed to her. And I mean, I don't call, I wouldn't call them rejections. I just call them no's for now. No's <laughs> for now. <laughs> I, and the reason I call them that, I call them no's for now because I know she, she doesn't think I'm ready and committed, mm -hmm. you know, to be in a serious, full on relationship. That's you know, something that's why I'm. That's why I'm here and trying to stay, you know, I'm trying to stay clean. Mm -hmm. I cut all the people out of my right. life. I even cut some family members out of my life. Right. You know, because... Yeah, all family I, ain't good family. Exactly. And, and it's in all, all I want, like, she, I mean, look at her. She's awesome. Right. She's beautiful. She's too good to me sometimes. I've done a lot of things to her, but all I want from her is a little bit of faith, some trust again, and some time. Ms. Crime, what is your response to that? Where are you? Well, he already knows the trust thing. 
Like, how can I trust you if you keep doing the same sure. thing over and over? Your trust is earned, not sure. given, and same as respect. Right. We had an argument where he said, I make him feel little. I asked him how. He said, oh, well, maybe you don't, but you need to give me a respect like the man that I am. I said, well, you're not a man. Now, I understand well, that conversation. I mean, yeah. it happens a lot. I, 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 mm -hmm. I get that conversation. When you keep giving him no's, I would know and go, but you're knowing and staying. So what I want to know is, how do you think this thing is going to turn out? What's going to turn it into a yes or a goodbye? Well, honestly, I don't have the strength or energy to go through this anymore. That's why this is hopefully going to help put some things into perspective for him, that I can't do it. And if I have to finish out the house by myself, it is going to be a home with what or without What do you need him. him to do? I mean, right now he's currently sober, you know, but we can't do more sober. You know what I mean? He can do it longer, longer but, yeah. but what else does he need to do? Honestly, he just needs to gain some kind of responsibility and understand that I am not his mom, maid, and girlfriend. I want him to go to some kind of group or NA, some kind of extra support. I'm with you. Instead of trying to do it by himself and, and then lying to me instead of talking about it. I know what's happening. <laughs> and I'm gonna give you some advice. How long would you wait for a drug addicted partner to get sober? Share your opinion on Twitter and Instagram at Divorce Court. Divorce Court will be right back. Mr. Ryan, yes, you do what most people do. And what most people do is, yeah, I got problem A, and I'm gonna deal with it by doing B. And you keep ending up with problem A. You wanna do it on your own because you have the capacity to stop for a little while. Right. There's an underlying ongoing issue that you have that allows you to go back every six months. But you need to allow somebody, either go into rehab, allow somebody to do a long-term rehab in your head mm -hmm. so you can stay on it long-term because right. the fact that you can quit and go six months but can't stay off of it means what you're doing ain't working. You with right. me? Yeah, and I am. Yeah. I am. So you, 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 you can't defend your actions by continuing to do actions that don't work. Having right. said that, if you want this woman, you have to prove it. And she doesn't want to take you on as a DIY project of her own. Right. What she wants is a guy who brings something to the table. If I were you, mm -hmm. I had that history and that background, that house would be looking at every day, 12, 16 hours. I would be like, I can't lose this woman because I can't get a job. I've got a felony record. I'm an addict. I've stolen from her. I got to prove, I got to prove, I got to prove. <laughs> That's what I would do. I hear you. Yeah. You can't say, how little can I do and keep her? You got to say, how much do I have to do to be worthy of her? That's the question you need to ask yourself. And if you can answer that question, then that's the question that'll get your question a yes and not a no for now. You got me? I got you. Good luck. This Thank matters you. again. Yeah. That's so pretty. In order for me to marry CJ, he has to prove to me that he actually has the strength to be a real man that has responsibilities and can quit doing drugs and get real help instead of just trying to wing it. It's hard being clean. It's hard staying sober. But you know what? That woman is the most amazing person, and she does everything to make sure that I'm taken care of, and I need to do the same for her.